Hey everyone. So in this video, grab a chair. In this video, what we're going to be doing is a uh, wood spirit, but a little different. We got a uh, citrine crystal. What we have to do is form this into the wood. Carve a little wood spirit around it. We did a straightforward power cord wrap, very, uh, very straightforward. Didn't want to do too much detail on the handle because we have a little bit of wood burning here as well. All the way down to standard rubber foot. We did this one with um, the wood was so so white, uh, there was no spalting, no coloration, so we stained this. Steam this a, a dark walnut uh, Danish oil and then finish it off with three coats of polyurethane. Had a lot of fun doing this one. I think the crystal on top adds, uh, adds another little layer of, of detail, certainly complexity, but I think it came out great. I think the look, uh, look is really nice and I think uh, going for walks in the sun that should have a, a nice little sparkle to it. So, hope you enjoy it. Stick around, watch how it's done. So we're going to be starting another walking stick video. A client asked me to make a walking stick with a wood spirit and also a, um, a crystal on top. So that's going to be interesting. So I have two sticks here drawing. The one on the left, uh, I already took the bark off. But I think we're going to be doing uh, this one. Bark still on. Looks pretty clear. Good height, relatively straight, all the way down, as you see. So that one's going to be nice. It's about an inch and a half in diameter, so we'll have to thin that down. Should be a fun little project. Stick around. <laughs> So we've removed all the bark, nice clear wood, started sketching out where the wood spirit's going to go. I left a little bit on top, a little bit of a crack there, that was underneath the, the bark. But we should have enough room, so that's where the, uh, the wood spirit's going to be carved in. And the client provided me with a few crystals, and uh, this is the one that we're going to be putting on top should be able to form the wood in this little crevice, uh, epoxy that in on top. Should be an interesting uh, interesting little project. Uh, got the rubber feet, the paracord for the handle. So it looks like we're all set to get started. Well, establishing some of the uh, stop cuts that we're going to need across the uh, underneath the nose here. Across the brow. Just trying to establish everything and then across the nose here and then we're going to take the rest out with our chisels and start to form the face normally uh, I've been doing this with the Dremel but I figured let's give it a try with a little hand carving just with a straight knife and a number of chisels A little bit slower doing it by hand, but equally satisfying.
So we're starting to uh, flush out the eyes and the nose. So we made the, let me see if I can, we made the stop cut right here by the nose. So what we have to do is this is going to be the highest point. We have to take it down right here by the brow. So we have to go at an angle. Go up that way. So let's keep going. So what we're going to be doing now is, with a little V-gouge, um, start drawing in some of the, um, the hair. It's pretty much all blocked out. Just got to thin out a little bit where the handle is, so with the microplane, just take off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Comes off real easy. I think we got pretty far ahead on this. We've added the texture. I think the shadow lines are going very well. And I like the way that uh, the mouth was formed. Here we established where the uh, cord wrap's going to go, where the handle's going to be. So I just a uh, little stock cut and chip cuts, top and bottom. So that's where the, uh, the handle's going to be. Next up is going to be trying to put the crystal just behind the head. So we're going to have to uh, get a little creative there, but just wanted to give you an update. So we've cut off seven inches or so from the top. Figure that's a good spot. And now what we have to do is fit this crystal in. You see there's a there's a little divot in it. A little indentation. So what we're going to have to do is carve out the majority of this back just to fit in there. To put it in flush. It's going to be a bit tricky. A lot of uh, back and forth with the Dremel but uh, I think we'll get this done. Alright so working with the Dremel coming around here you see we've taken off Quite a bit of meat. I didn't film all of it because it's the better part of two hours. <laughs> Trying to get that to fit a very crooked crystal. But it will fit in now. We're going to contour the whole front once it's glued in. But you see we, we have made that fit. So that's how it's going to be. We're just going to uh, use a two-part epoxy to put that in. Let me get in focus to put that in and uh, see what comes out of it. Here's the latest update. So we've contoured the front giving the face a little more shape. As you see the contour with the crystal is coming out great. That's really working out nicely. 
We've also done a subtle detail. Let's see if it comes out here. We've done some small holes, filled it in with a white epoxy. When we uh, put a finish on the wood, it'll darken it up. And these white dots, which match the white in the crystal, will stand out just to add a little detail down the back. So I think that's looking nice. Pretty sure we're finished with the wood spirit. We fleshed out the handle here, thinned it down because we're going to be doing a cord wrap. And then for the rest of the stick, because it's a, a, a light wood without much spalting like the other ones, uh, there'll be a little bit of coloration here. When we put the oil finish on, it'll darken it up. So what I wanted to do is just below the handle, we're going to do a black cord wrap. So just below the handle here, I've sketched out a, uh, a spiral pattern and trying to decide to either do a wood burning or to uh, to dig into it with a file, sort of like what we did on the last uh, Mad Hatter wood spirit. So, still to be decided. So what we ended up doing, it's doing a spiral, but used a, uh, a small V-gouge. Uh, the wood seems soft enough that uh, worked out pretty well. And you see here I've marked out four spots. What we're going to do is a little pattern here with the uh, wood burning tool. So we're just going to add a little a couple of dots, a couple of details here on the uh, on the side just below the handle. And it should work out. It should come out pretty nice. So what we did is we finished burning those few dots and then we went over uh, with the burning tool went into the spiral pattern that I did. I think it makes it stand out a bit. Uh, don't forget this whole section here is going to be uh, with the black paracord. So it's going to be darker here and I think that's going to work out. So we're just about ready for stain. I'm going over the two options. This um, is what it'll look like with a standard teak oil. It's a bit light. And this one here, uh, it's a Danish oil, but a uh, dark walnut stain. So I think that one is what we're going to go with a little bit darker. So let's get that going. Nice. So there you go with the, uh, the stain put on. What I ended up doing is putting three coats of polyurethane on it. Because of the shine of the crystal here in the back, I thought that the stick should have a little bit of shine too. I think that turned out a lot better. So what we're going to be doing right now is working on this part here, doing the power cord wrap. So let's get to it. So, what we're starting doing is, uh, you see there's some tape here, because this one needs uh, probably a third hand. So what we've done is taken one side, brought it up just above where you need a handle, formed a loop, brought it back down. What we're going to be doing is winding this all up, and then right at the end passing it through, pulling this cord tight, and it locks it all in place. So let's get to it. So what we're going to do is just keep wrapping this around. You've got to keep a lot of tension on. See? As you go, you're just going to be wrapping this up. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you. So just keep turning it around. You can either spin it, get a better grip for you, 
just keep spinning it, keep tension like that, or you wrap the cord around, uh, your choice. So let's keep going, get near the top, and uh, see how we finish this up. It's looking pretty good. So when you've gotten near the top, or at the top, what you're going to do is take the extra end and place it through that loop. Let's see if I can do that. A little tricky, you still got to keep, uh, keep tension on it. So there you have it. Once you have tension, what you're going to do then is we're going to pull on this closing this loop and locking in that top one. Sometimes it takes a bit of effort. You might have to use some pliers, but oh, there you go. So there you have it. Once you tighten that up, it locks this one in place. It takes a little bit of tension. Obviously the polyurethane helped. It made it a little slippery. Now you can come back, trim this off, trim that off, melt the end, trim that off, melt the end. So I'm going to do that and uh, afterwards what we're going to do is we're going to wet this down. When you wet down paracord as it dries it shrinks and gets tighter. So this handle will become uh, pretty solid. So there you have it. A little wood spirit with a crystal. I think this is a citrine crystal. It has a nice shine. It really blended in. We took our time carving all that in wood spirit there coming down to uh, well nice beard paracord handle the black forms nicely with the wood burning that we did here all the way down to the rubber foot that we put on this one came out really nice hope you guys enjoyed it and another little wood spirit I'm starting to like these guys thanks for watching